Hello, we are starting this video with the best bacon, egg, and cheese you will ever have. Don't judge it when you see me put a little weird ingredient on that bagel in a little bit. Don't judge me, trust me. Okay, so we're using turkey bacon and vegan cheese. I am just, you know, trying to limit dairy as much as possible. It really breaks me out and bloats me. So I just try to have vegan when I can. And I am using three egg whites. And so I just need to quickly say, you see that little red um, egg mold? I, you'll see me take that off real quick. It wasn't working. The eggs weren't cooking. I was impatient. So I want you to know that you do not need an egg mold at all. You'll see the way that I flip around the eggs to make it work. But most importantly, I am doing a voiceover to tell you that you are allowed to have a bacon, egg, and cheese. You are allowed to have a bagel. There's this concept that people, like bagels are unhealthy. Bagels are too high in carb. The bagel that I am having is 44 grams of carbs. That's only 176 grams of, or 176 calories from carbs. How is that too high? What is 44 carbs going to do to you? Absolutely freaking nothing. So go make this bacon, egg, and cheese because it's delicious. So the way that I melt the cheese, I'm just going to point this out. I stack everything, put a little bit of water in the pan, cover it, and then I kind of steam the cheese. And it really takes like 30 seconds. So that's how I do how I melt the cheese. But this is the little secret ingredient, my jam jam, jelly, whatever you call it, on a bacon, egg, and cheese. It'll change your life. You have to try it. Just trust me. You've got to make this, guys. You have to. All right, so breakfast is finished. I'm in my office now. It is noon. I just went for a walk. It was probably almost a two-mile walk, um, and that was on accident because I went out the front door, and then I tried to go around the back, but the, my back door was locked, and so I had to go all the way back around again, so I got a couple more steps in, which is good because it is 12 o'clock right now. I will be leaving for yoga at four, so I have four hours to work. And typically, I honestly do probably work about four hours a day, um, which is pretty awesome because I just make sure I am organized. I have plans every single day. I know what task I'm going to hit. And then, you know, if I don't, then I'll add it on. That just scared me so bad. Brian just got home. I will, actually no, I'm just gonna finish this clip here. So basically, I'm sitting down for the day, starting my day, I am first gonna do client check-ins, which means go through my email, clear out my inbox, make sure all my clients are served. As soon as I start working, they come first, and then I am going to be creating content for the rest of the day. So. I have to make a post on Instagram. I already recorded a video. I'm going to start these new things on Monday mornings. It's going to be Monday morning motivation, a short, less than 10 minute video that I will be uploading on Instagram every single Monday with all types of motivation, not just fitness, not just business, just life in general, everything, whatever's on my heart, on my mind. So I recorded that this morning and so I will be uploading that and then the breakfast that you saw, my bacon, egg and cheese, I'm going to be doing a voiceover for that. So you have already heard that in this video but now I'm gonna record it. So going you know, back in time a little bit and then I'm gonna get that voiceover ready to repurpose as an Instagram post. So if you are a content creator, an online coach or you just simply want to be, where in your life can you just share influence, record, take a photo, like me, for breakfast? I wasn't planning on, like a part of my day was not to record my breakfast and do a voiceover, but when I was at the store and I grabbed my bacon, egg, and cheese ingredients, I was like, this is gonna be a great post to share a recipe with people that might think a bacon, egg, and cheese is unhealthy. So I'm gonna create this content. So something as simple as breakfast, which I will be eating and doing anyway, I'm gonna be eating it, I'm gonna be cooking it regardless. So why not take my camera out and film it and create content out of it? So that's really how I think about content. It comes really naturally and easily to me because I simply just find what I do in my day to day and I record it and I share it with you and try to provide education and motivation. So big tip for you guys, if you're overthinking your content, what do I post, what do I do? How do I be an online coach? 
just share your life. If you live the lifestyle, just start sharing it and then give little nuggets of information and on the micro level. How micro can you break down what you are doing, why you ordered this, why you cooked this, why you warmed up that way, why you chose that exercise. Not everybody is as advanced or even if you don't feel advanced, there's still people that are more on the beginner side that have no idea what you're doing. So somebody out there is going to benefit because we've all started somewhere. We all were beginners at some point. So I'm gonna log on my email. I'm going to give my husband a kiss and spend probably two minutes with him before he has to go back to work. He just grabbed Bailey from the vet. We board her at the vet. We just got home yesterday, like I told you, from New York. So I am going to insert a grocery haul right here and then a recipe that I just put in my crock pot for dinner. So I will see you guys a little bit later. Hello, good morning, what is going on? It is Monday, January 27th. I haven't uploaded a video in like two weeks. Um, I forgot, to be honest, I forgot two weeks ago to film. I was just like working and doing my thing and I'm like, oh shit. And then last week I went to New York to see Brian's family. It was just kind of crazy and I don't, I really take time off of work when it comes to family because we do not see them enough. So my breakfast, as long as everything is right, everything looks right, the jam, three large egg whites, an everything bagel, three ounces of strawberries, two slices of turkey bacon, and one slice of vegan cheese, 561 calories. It is, let's see, 35 grams of protein, 66 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat and eight grams of fiber. So really, really good balanced breakfast. If something like this scares you, if like you hear 500 calories for one meal and you're like, oh my God, that's too high for me. Or you see me eating a bagel and you're like, ugh, I could never eat that. Tell me why, tell me why. Why can't you have a bagel? Why can't you have a bagel? You can't even come up with a reason because 44 grams of carbs not a lot of carbs. You don't have to add the jelly. You don't have to add the strawberries. If you just had a bagel sandwich with just the egg whites, whatever you want, actually, who cares? Or just a bagel. Why can't you have a bagel? Why is 560 calories a lot? It's 560, like why is that a lot? It's not. If you eat three meals at 500 calories, you're only at 1500 calories for the day. And that's not, too much. <laughs> so just to think about that, it's really, you know, we de we tend to deem food like, oh, I can't have that. Oh, that's unhealthy, but why? Like, think about it. There's fiber in here, there's whole grains in here, there's protein in here, healthy, healthy fats, carbs that are gonna give me energy to work and to go on my day. So nothing wrong with a bagel. And then um, I took some L-carnitine after I ate. I just got this in the mail, thank God. I just ordered this, I order this, I love this. Um, I like to have this either pre-workout, I forgot this morning, um, or and or I have it with my post-workout meal, my um, highest carb meal of the day. I guess since I'm taking out groceries from Aldi, I might as well just show you. I feel like there's a grocery haul in every video, but I'm constantly growing grocery shopping. I got these at Aldi. They're mini cinnamon raisin bagels. I don't know what is up with me and bagels right now. I just came back from New York, maybe that's why. But I thought this would be such a good little snack, like pre-workout, post-workout, before I go to yoga. If I go to any like workout classes or my gym that's in Boca, that's kind of far away. This is a great little thing that I can like toast beforehand or even just eat it. Uh, it's cinnamon raisin, so it's so yummy. One of these is uh, 120 calories, one gram of fat, 23 carbs, four protein. So I thought, you know, Brian will definitely snack on a few of these. I thought it was a great snack. I also had um, got deli turkey yesterday, so like a good quick snack would be to toast one of these, put some deli turkey on top, maybe some avocado. Um, I got salsa, we're having pork tacos tonight and I have to throw that in the crock pot so you'll see me doing that. I got some sweet potatoes because I don't have any <laughs> and we're having steak and potatoes later on this week and I just, you know, sweet potatoes is a staple carb. I have an English cucumber and I have organic carrots. 
is that all the veggies uh, because I have hummus in the fridge and that's also a just really great snack. And then two things of broccoli, shredded lettuce for our tacos tonight. And, oh, I have more stuff. A 100 calorie pack of cashews. Another great thing to keep in my car, a huge tip that I give all of my clients is to keep a little something like this in your glove box in your car, have one in your glove box, have one in your gym bag, have one in your purse, so that you are never in a situation where you're out and about and you're like, oh my God, I'm starving. So I love to have little 100 calorie packs, portion control. I got these turkey chomp sticks, another just like, I like to have like grab and go type thing. So always good to have that. I got some chicken tikka masala simmer sauce. I posted my recipe for my chicken simmer sauce last week, I believe, on Instagram. So check that out. It's such an easy, easy dinner. I think we're having that tomorrow or something. I got two of these. They're um, Aldi's Kind Bar brand. They're $1.99 versus like three or four ninety nine, dollars And then the same exact thing. They're called Elevation. Uh, dark chocolate cinnamon pecan and dark chocolate mocha almond. Once again, quick and easy options to grab and go in the house or for a quick snack. We got ketchup because we love to make vegan chicken patties and these are the chicken patties we love. Again, Aldi meatless uh, chicken patties, really, really good. And then I also picked up some shrimp, frozen shrimp from Aldi as well. It is all natural, no preservatives, raw jumbo shrimp. We're gonna do stir fry one of these nights. That was just what I got today. I did like do a full, I, I went grocery shopping yesterday. So I am just gonna put all this stuff away right now. It is Monday, 11.13. I, that was my first meal because I had I was out and about and doing a million things. So this morning, just to fill you guys in, cause I feel like today is just gonna be like a day in the life, maybe behind the scenes of like what a Monday looks like after traveling, cause you know, I haven't been home, so it's like a little, but I actually feel really good. So this morning I woke up, I slept in a little bit, seven till seven o'clock, um, got up, got my collagen coffee, took my vitamins, sat down and read and journaled, and then I did a 30 minute spin class on my Peloton. I love getting movement in the morning, makes me feel so good. So I am going to put all these groceries away and then I will see you for the pork in the crock pot recipe. All right, oh shit. That's okay. Um, I just realized I got the teriyaki flavored pork tenderloin when I meant to get the plain, but that doesn't matter because I am gonna be using a soyaki. It's a unique teriyaki sauce and marinade from Trader Joe's. So I guess it's perfect, but this is a huge staple. If you have been following me for a while, watching me for a while, you have seen this recipe. It's on my website, it's on Instagram, it's on YouTube, it's everywhere, but I just buy pork tenderloin, put a sauce over it, put it in the crock pot, let it go for six hours, and I have perfectly shredded pork for pork stir fry, pork stir fry for pork tacos, and then we are gonna do a pork stir fry later on this week with the leftovers. So I love this recipe because I can do so many things with it. We can do tacos, burritos, quesadillas, a salad, sandwich, wrap, uh, little sliders, like there's, I mean, the possibilities are endless. We're doing stir fry, um, so it's gonna be really good. I just can't get it out of the package. So that's really all the recipe is. It's really not even a recipe. Um, I can show you guys tonight what like exactly I do to put the tacos together, but it's so simple. So I just take it out, I put it in my crock pot. I am just going to season it with just a little bit of salt. Not much because the marinade has a lot of sodium and I can't touch anything with this hand because I touched the raw. And then I just you and then I just cover the uh, the pork tenderloin with the sauce with the marinade. And I maybe use a third of it, not even a half. So I'll have this for more pork. And I just kind of turn the pork around. I'll show you, don't worry. And I let it go. It's so, that's really, really it. I used to put peppers and onions in here as well, but I don't anymore just because Brian doesn't like peppers and onions. So what I will just do tonight is I'll just saute some up in the on the stove just for me. 
so he doesn't need to, I don't waste any, he doesn't have to eat any, um, you guys, but if you are, wanna make pork tacos and you want to do this recipe, just throw in like a, a bell pepper, either in strips or cut it in half, uh, cut an onion in quarters and it'll cook perfectly and it'll have a lot of flavor because it cooks in the sauce. So let me show you, it doesn't look like anything, but it'll taste good. So that's it. Look how simple that is. There's a little bit of sauce. You really don't need much. You just need, to, it doesn't need to be submerged. Um, and I'm gonna put a top on it and I'm gonna cook it on, I'm gonna do high for six hours just because it is almost noon. And so I wanna make sure this is done for dinner time. And that's about it. So I need to get started on my work day. Getting back into the groove of things. Today on the agenda, Mondays I leave, like for me, I don't have my calendar open to anybody. So that means that none of my clients can schedule calls that day, today. I do that for Monday and Friday so I can create content. I can sit down for like long periods of time on my computer. So if you guys, any online coaches watching or anybody that you know does a couple things, um, it, I don't know if this information is helpful to you, but if you are an online coach, I would highly recommend taking a day where you don't schedule any check-ins, you don't schedule anything client related, and you just take that day to create content, film you know, a workout, film a recipe, or film a couple, um, create some captions and write captions ahead of time so you don't have to like be like, fuck, what do I talk about every single day? It's just really great and you have, I believe that when you can have like those hours at a time to sit, at your computer and really just work and create uninterrupted without like getting emails or client text messages or calls. It just, it makes so much of a difference. So I am in my office right now. I am gonna get started on work and I will maybe show you what I have for lunch today. All right, I am gonna eat lunch. I am hungry. This is gonna be my meal before yoga. It is 2.26 and I was going to have chicken and green beans and sweet potatoes but I have to make the sweet potatoes and I just don't feel like it because <laughs> I still have to get some work done in this hour and a half that I have before yoga. So when in doubt, protein oatmeal. It's sweet, it's warm, it's satisfying. I have 40 grams, this is what it looks like. I have 40 grams of just regular rolled oats. It's right up there actually. I get this big old rolled oats from Aldi super cheap. I used this, which I always use in my oatmeal, this chia and flax seed blend that I got from Vitamin Shop just to bump up the fiber. It really helps to keep me full, which is really great um, for yoga because I really, I can't eat very close before yoga and I'm in there for 90 minutes and then I have to drive home. It's 30 minutes, so like I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring a snack. I always bring a snack after yoga because it's 2.30 and I'll get out of yoga around like 6.15. So it's a long time of not eating. So I'll probably, I'm gonna look at my totals for the day and see if I'm low. I think I'm probably gonna be a little low in fat if I had to guess. So I'll probably bring one of the um, little kind bar elevation, whatever they're called or a, a turkey stick, I'm not quite sure, but this was the nut butter that I used to top it with. It is called Nutzo, it is cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, flaxseed, chia seed, hazelnuts, pumpkin seeds, and sea salt. So that is what I used, I used 23 grams of that, and I topped with blueberries, and then I just used a little bit of this milk to make it nice and creamy. Uh, the protein that I used is my One Up Nutrition, vegan chocolate. I love that protein so much because it is the cleanest vegan protein you will literally see on the market. It's one of the few, there's maybe one other one, one of the few vegan proteins or proteins in general that does not have art of, um, what is it called? Oh, natural flavors. Uh, that's bullshit. If you see natural flavors, they're not natural. It's just a natural essence of a flavor. So they get you with that marketing. Uh, this actually uses organic vanilla bean extract. So you know you're getting all great stuff. So I'm gonna sit and eat, take a little work break. I've been working nonstop for two and a half hours with no break. 
So now is my little lunch break until probably three-ish and then I'll bang out an hour of work and then head to yoga. So I'm gonna eat this, probably watch a YouTube video or maybe I'll go on and watch something on Netflix or YouTube TV, but young me. I just got out of yoga. A little dark, but I just picked up a coconut water and I brought a banana with me and that is gonna be perfect to hold me over before dinner. So I'm gonna go home, shower, and then Mm, hang out and make dinner my dinner's already cooked because i made the pork so whenever i'm feeling hungry i will start to saute the peppers and onions and i will show you my finished product so my vegetable tonight is going to be a big salad i swear there's more stuff in here than just lettuce see if you can kind of all is in the bottom but i just have a mix of spring mix and spinach because that's what i had in the fridge and cherry tomatoes beets oh there's one peeking out right now i cannot have a salad without beets i i just i love them so much and cucumbers and i think that's it oh and then i snacked on a couple carrots um and then an apple thyme vinaigrette so i'm gonna eat this as my vegetable before i even do the tacos and I am going to start the episode of Very Cavallari that I didn't see. Episode three, don't tell Brian. He'll never admit it, but he loves Very Cavallari. So I'm going to watch this, take a little break, and then I have to make Brian some potatoes for his lunch tomorrow because I didn't have a chance to get rice today. So, because we get, we get the Trader Joe's rice, that's why. And I didn't feel like going all that way for rice. So I'm going to watch this and eat. And I will show you my dinner. All right, and here is my taco. I didn't film putting it together just because I'm hungry and I'm watching very cavalry. But these are my tortillas. I just heated them up in the oven under the broiler just to warm them up. And then I smashed a ton of avocado with lemon juice, salt, pepper. And I'm going to store this in the fridge for the week. But I put avocado on the first that was the first layer that i put on the tortilla then shredded lettuce then the pork then salsa and there is no peppers and onions because your girl over here forgot to get peppers today at the store but this is what the delicious pork looks like brian is gonna love it so i am gonna eat this and relax on the couch and wait for brian to get home and cuddle with miss sagey eating my rug <laughs> And I'll check you guys in a little bit. Hello, I am on my iPhone right now because my memory card is plugged into my computer, but last night I forgot to record a outro clip because Brian got home, I spent time with him, and family is everything, so I didn't want to break out the camera. So I am just gonna close out this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try that pork recipe, oh my goodness, and I hope you eat a bagel. I hope you make a bacon, egg, and cheese. I asked this question today, so I'll be posting this YouTube video on Wednesday. So it's Tuesday today. So if you didn't see this Instagram post, go back to my Instagram. It's the picture of the bagel. And I asked the question, why can't you eat the bagel? You say you can't. Oh, I can't have that. I can't have a bagel. But why? I asked this question and it's funny because the women who are commenting they can't say why. One of the women tried to like say why she couldn't eat a bagel. And I was like, well, what is, what is the bagel gonna do to you if you eat it? And she said, absolutely nothing. Isn't that crazy that we in our heads make up these stories that are so untrue. We self-sabotage. And through this restriction, through this self-sabotage, that is why you are overeating, over snacking, craving, binge eating. That's why your relationship with food is so hot and cold. It's so yo-yo back and forth is because we're really just making shit up in our heads that's not true. Especially like if, if you're not like educated, if you're not a nutrition dietitian, coach, how are you making up these rules when you don't really know any better? So, you know, I just, and I'm not saying that to try to like insult anybody. I'm really just trying to say that to get you to think differently because I wish I had this wake up call when I was struggling with my relationship with food and carbs specifically. I wish I followed somebody out there that taught me that food was not the enemy. So 
I hope I can be that person for you. So I'm gonna close out this video. I'm gonna do better about posting, I promise. Leave it down below what you wanna see. If you just want me to keep on doing days in the life and full days of eating, I will gladly do that for you. It feels boring to me because it's my life, but as long as you like it, I will keep delivering. So I'm gonna go, it is five o'clock on Tuesday. Brian's gonna get home and I am really focusing on spending more time with him off of my phone. I have a little bit more work to do that I'm gonna try to bang out before he gets home. So I will talk to you guys in the comments, in my emails, in my DMs, hit me up. You have two more days to enroll in my reverse dieting challenge. So message me, email me. I'll put my email down below if you're interested and you wanna learn more about my challenge to speed up your metabolism. This is the first women's only reverse dieting challenge. Let's do it. Let's speed up your metabolism. Let's end this poor relationship with food. Let's do this. Let's do it together. All right, I'm gonna go. I love you guys so much. Bye.